find the expected value of the random variable. Now this is the probability distribution function. So x can take on the values of 2, 3, 4, and 5. Probability of x being 2 is 0 0.01, of it being 3 is 0, 0, 0, excuse me, let me start again. The probability of x being 2 is 0 0.1, the probability of x being 3 is 0 0.3, the probability of x being 4 is 0 0.5, and the probability of x being 5 is 0.1. And notice those probabilities add up to 1. That will always be true for a probability uh, distribution or density function, a PDF. Now, the way I typically tell you to do this when you're working with a PDF that's given by a chart or an XY of X, P of X table is to create another row or column, if it were in a column format, that's the product of X and P of X. So you get 2 times 0.1, if you do that on a calculator or in your head, you're going to get 0.2. 3 times 0.3 is 0 0.9. 4 times 0.5, again, you can do this on a calculator if you're not confident about doing it in your head. You get 2.0. And 5 times 0.1 is, point, is a 0 0.5. Now, by definition, the expected value of x is just the sum of all those products. So once you get that last row written down, all you've got to do is stick a plus sign in between all those numbers and add them up. And again, if you don't feel confident doing it in your head, you can do it on the calculator, but when you add up all those numbers, you end up with 3.6. So the expected value of that random variable is 3.6. A business bureau gets complaints as shown in the following table. Find the expected number of complaints per day, and they give you the PDF. This is very similar to the last problem. Except the numbers are a little harder to deal with. But if you think of this as X and this is P of X, then you want to take a row and make a row consisting of X times P of X. So it's just the product of that times that all the way down. Zero times anything is zero. 1 times anything is that thing back again. 2 times 0 0.21 is 0 0.42. 3 times 0 0.33 is 0 0.99. If you don't feel confident doing it in your head, do it on the calculator. 4 times 0 0.19 is 0 0.76. And 5 times uh, 0 0.12 is 0 0.60. And of course, by definition, the expected value of x is just the sum that's a decimal point there, of all of those products from the row that I added. And again, you'll want to use a calculator. I won't show it, but if you add those numbers up, you'll get 2.88. So the expected value of that random variable, or in this case, it stands for the number of complaints, so the expected number of complaints per day is 2.88. Find the expected value for the random variable x having this probability, this, uh, probability function or probability distribution function. And you'll notice that what you have, let me move up a little bit, they call the first bar A, the second bar B, the third bar C, the fourth bar D, and the fifth bar E. I don't really know why, because then they come right down here below it and tell you that A is equal to 9. So I would just go ahead and just put a 9 there. You don't really need the A. And they tell you that B is 11, so I just put an 11 there. Don't worry about the D. They tell you that C is 13, so I would just stick a 13 right there where C was. Uh, D is 15, so I just write 15. And E is 17, so I would just write 17. So the way they wrote that was sort of odd, but uh, nevertheless, all you really need to do are put those numbers in where those letters were. Now they wanted to find, wanted to find the probability function. Now that's the PDF. So you want to set up your little chart. having trouble with my straight lines here. You've got an X and you've got a P of X. Now X are these numbers down here. So X can be 9, 
x can be 11, x can be 13, x can be 15, and x can be 17. And the probabilities are the heights of the bar. So the first bar with the number 9 goes up to uh, 0 0.1, so that's the probability. The one that labeled 11 goes up here, which is 0 0.3. So all you're doing is taking that um, graph and turning it into a, a PDF. 13 bar goes up to point 0 0.1. The 15 bar goes up to 0 0.3. And the 17 bar goes up to 0 0.2. And you will notice if you add up 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, you will get 1, which is what you have to have for a PDF. Okay, now that I've taken the graph and changed it into a PDF, I can really sort of just forget the graph now. If I want to find the expected value of that, I do what I have done in the last couple of problems. I just create another row that gives me the product of x and p of x, 9 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.9, 11 times 0.3 is 3.3, .3. feel free to use your calculator if you're not confident, 13 times 0 0.1 is 1.3, 15 times uh, 0 0.3 is 4.5, and 17 times 0 0.2 is 3.4. And by definition, the expected value of a random variable is the sum of the products on the last line. 0 0.9 plus 3.3 plus 1.3 plus 4.5 plus 3.4. And if you use the calculator to do that sum, you'll end up with expected value of 13.4. So the expected value of that um, probability function that was given in that graph is 13.4.